Yo, what's cracking everybody? It's Steve here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to me. Where have I been? You're probably wondering. Well, if you follow me on social media, you probably already know that I broke my finger. Yes, and now we're going to play a little game of which finger did Steve break? <laughs> Yes, if you guess correctly, this is the finger that I broke. Of course, it was my pinky. And it's the pinky that I use in all of my pinky counts and pinky breaks. But it's okay because it now matches the other pinky which I broke about 10 years ago. So I'm doing fine, it's healing well, and I'm ready to teach you guys the push-off double lift. I have absolutely no doubt that you already know what the double lift is and you're probably already comfortable performing the double lift. So why am I teaching you the push off double lift? Here's my reasoning. There is nothing more frustrating, nothing more annoying than seeing a sloppy double lift. Now I'm not saying that the double lift that you do already is bad. However, I just wanted to share with you another technique which is the push off double lift because it's so natural, there's no get ready and David Blaine does it and he's my favorite magician, well street magician anyway. I really wanna dive deep down into the technique, why it's important that you have a clean double lift, why I think it would be perfect for your ambitious Carter routine. So let's get right into it. Now if this is the first time you've ever seen a double lift or the push off double lift, basically it's where you show two cards as one, okay? And then you can pull off little miracles of this move. So basically, the push off double lift is done like this. You want to hold the cards and mechanics grip. Okay, so you want to hold the cards like so. You don't want to hold them too far down. You want to hold them nice and high. And um, you want to have the top of the cards kind of flush within halfway of the top of your thumb, like so. So once you relax like that, what I want you to practice before you start trying to pick up two cards is I want you to practice just pushing off two cards to the side. And you don't want to push them too far like this. You actually only need to push them over just a little bit like so. Now there's three cards there and that's perfectly fine. And I'll tell you why in a sec. So just practice pushing cards over. And after you've practiced, even if you can't push over two, three's okay for now. After a while, you'll be able to push over just two like that. And remember the gap over here, you just want to be able to push ever so slightly and then you'll be able to pick up two. All right, so once you've got that, here's what you do with your right hand. You want to use your right, if you're using it in your left hand that is, otherwise just do it the opposite. You want to use your ring finger to make contact of the top of those cards there. Now to practice, I'm going to show you by pushing over three cards because you're more than likely going to fall into this scenario. So if you're pushing over three cards, which I've done here, here's how you get out of it. You want to use your ring finger to make contact with the top of these cards here. And you want to put a bit of extra pressure with your thumb. And then you can actually peel away that third card, which is right here. So I've got two here and the third card is here and you wanna use your thumb down at the bottom, use your ring finger at the top, and then at the same time, you wanna swivel on your palm back here, and that's gonna keep the cards together. So I know this is a lot of information to take in, but trust me, this move is so worth it. So if you're in that position there, you simply just use your ring finger, your thumb at the back, and swivel on your palm, and at the same time, you're gonna pull that third card back into position like that and then you're going to turn and then you're going to push these two down flush as one card so i'll do that again and so i'm going to do it with the third card again because you're probably going to happen to you and so you push off now there are three cards there so there's two here and there's that third card there now this happens to me all the time and all i have to do is make contact and it's just light contact with the two cards. Put a bit of extra pressure with this thumb and then you'll be able to peel those two away and at the same time pull that third card back in and bang, you've got your double lift, okay? So let's try that again with a couple of other cards. So let's do it with just two cards this time. And so I've got my two cards, just the two double 
car push off there and you swivel it now you want to swivel it on your palm because it keeps the cards together and so you go from here oh I've got three this time and then I make contact with my ring finger now look at my position on my fingers here so I've got my thumb down the bottom I've got my ring finger up the top and I'm just swiveling on the palm and as I do that I'm actually doing this here I'm actually sliding down the card maintaining the two cards as one so watch as I do that see I grab it and I slide my fingers swivel it on the palm and that just makes sure that the cards stick together as one and so you turn them back over and that's the push off double lift right there now you're probably thinking oh but if I push off three cards by accident I'm going to get caught trust me you don't get caught and the reason you don't get caught is because even if the spectator does see that scenario there they can see you're only grabbing one card anyway and that one's just going back into position and trust me laymen don't catch these things okay I've never been caught for such a long time doing a double lift now another little extra tip that I want to share with you is you probably notice that when I turn the card over you hear that little click now the little click is just a little subtlety that I've added to the double lift yes David Blaine does it and I've just copied exactly what he's done and it actually gives it a nice little effect and the way you do that is once you've got the two cards there you squeeze the corner up here you give it a squeeze and then you push the card down and it gives it a little pop and it gives the extra little convincer that there's only two cards there so if you listen it gives a little snap and it just I don't know it just sounds really cool it makes a simple move look really cool as well and so what you do is you do your little push off and squeeze but you don't want to squeeze too tight and break your card it's not a big squeeze and then you just push the card uh, see how I've got it into the palm there you just push it down you hear the pop and then you turn it over now something else I wanted to go over as well is you want to make the move look nice okay there's nothing worse than doing a quick little turnover like that and then show off your double lift which looks okay however I want you to have a bit of elegance with it and so as you push off the two cards display the card you don't want to just turn it over quickly you want the spectator to have this image in their mind of what the card is and sometimes they forget how many times has a spectator forgotten their card and so once you've turned the two over display the card or you can push it down like that I prefer to push the cards back flush because then they can't see any you know if I held the card up here they can't see the two cards if they stare at it long enough okay so they can you can either hold it here if you do don't do it too long because it gives them enough time to fry that card and potentially see two or you can simply do this where you snap and just push the cards flush and then you hold a pinky break back there and that pinky break just simply allows you to pick that card back over and turn it down like so okay so let's take a look at the double lift from the behind the scenes angle and yes I'm going into a lot of depth with this move because it is the most important so I don't want to see any sloppy doubles so from here what you do is once you've done your push off you get into that position there with your ring finger and your thumb down the bottom like so and we're going to do this slide action here and that's keeping the cards flush as well as what the palm's doing over here as we swivel the card so it's pushed over we make contact we slide we turn it over and then we push the card flush or the two cards I should say flush is one so I'll do it again so from here you turn it do the snap bang and push the cards down and as you push the cards down you've actually got a little pinky break ready to turn the cards back over okay so from here you turn the cards over I've got my pinky already in position and I'm sliding the cards on top of the pinky and so it's into position like that and it's only a small break as well because I'm just going to pick it up and then slide the card into the center 
bang and there it is now there's obviously a lot of uses for the double lift however i'm going to teach you one little i guess card trick if you could say um, where you can use the double lift so basically what you want to do is you want to get a card selected let's say they choose the queen of hearts you want to take the queen of hearts and you want to slide it somewhere around the middle there and then with a little snap their card comes back to the top you take their card you slide it somewhere towards the middle with a little throw bang their card jumps all the way back now most of you probably know how that's done already the double lift right <laughs> basically all I've done so let's say we use the Queen of Hearts again um, as I've shown the Queen of Hearts to the spectator I've actually got a pinky break at the same time so I've shown it see that behind the scenes there <laughs> um, basically I've just pushed over got a little pinky break behind there and it's just a false insert and so you're in the motion of trying to push the cards into the center what you do is a little convinces you actually push on an angle so that you can push a few cards you push like so and it looks like you're trying to get the card into the center and then you try again but you actually put it underneath the top card like so so from that angle there it looks like it goes into the middle and so you show the card get a pinky break and you try and push it in and then from here you do your push off double lift and then you do the little click if you want to then you put the card down to the middle and it comes back again one last thing that i want to share with you is uh, the top shot yes you're probably thinking what's the top shot got to do with the double lift well here's something that i've started doing about six months ago and i'm not even kidding it gets massive reactions like people start clapping um, and basically let's say they choose the four of diamonds right and you you do your do your ambitious card routine where the card goes to the center and then it comes back to the top right here's what i do after a little while with the spectator i say look we'll do that move again where um, we put the card down to the bottom this time now remember how it keeps jumping back to the top watch what happens when i put it further down to the bottom watch this i just snap my fingers and the card jumps all the way into my other hand and I've just done a top shot and that's been getting like applauses people start clapping when I'm doing close-up gigs and so obviously it's just the same as what I've done before their selection goes towards the bottom you perform your double lift and um, you put the card towards the bottom and then you just pull off an easy little top shot and if you want to learn how to do that top shot move there's a little link up the top there I did a tutorial a while ago make sure you go check that out because it is quite handy um, so yeah try doing the top shot with the double lift it honestly will make you look like a real card shark so have fun with that as well now before i go let me leave you with a few words of wisdom remember these words no one likes a sloppy double so there's five words there no one likes a sloppy double and what do i mean by that a double lift is your most important card move so make sure that out of all the moves that you can do because i know you're all move monkeys out there make sure the double lift is the most perfect the most polished the best move that you can do because it just looks amazing it is so simple when you think about it that you're just picking up two cards sliding in the middle and then it jumps back to the top all that kind of stuff make sure it's perfect because it is it sounds a bit cheesy it's a beautiful move and it should be the most perfected in your arsenal so if this is the first time that you've popped by my channel consider subscribing i will be back every week i've had a few weeks off but it ain't going to happen again unless i break another finger so thanks for sticking around i hope you enjoyed it remember no one likes a sloppy double i'll see you next time Bye bye